Okay, what's up guys? I decided to just do like one big update on everything since I haven't uploaded in forever. So um, let's start with the crafts. These are my two Halloween crafts. I've got a male and a female in here. For a while they weren't eating anything. Right now they're eating carrots. And they're coming out a bit more frequent since I put this thing on that's on like 23 degrees Celsius in this room with this thing. So that's good. I found this um, pellet food. I think it's this stuff. It's a carnivorous diet for turtles, which they're eating. They're also eating these, but these are pretty small and they mold up pretty quickly, so I don't like these much. And I've also been trying these, but they they didn't touch these at all. I think so that's a bit unfortunate but I give them these now they've got like some protein some veggies and stuff in them and then I feed them some carrots or salad they eat the leaf litter as well occasionally they burrow a lot like there's a new burrow here that only opened up this morning there's a burrow down there with the leaf in it there's one that goes under here that seems to be closed off slightly, it's not still there, and then there's one that goes there under the water dish. You also want to keep a water dish in there all the time, because that's good. And this is my Balfouri. They've been getting to come out and webbing up and stuff. They're all alive, all four of them, so that's great. This is my Peak Cambridge Eye. She's eating well, hasn't molded for me yet since I got her, but she's doing great, she's pretty big. This is my Psampo Spulker. Webbed a lot, like I had a lot. And then uh, she's doing great. Then it. Uh, okay, here's my Psavapos Rudunkus, which uh, you can actually see some legs of right now. This is the first. I usually don't ever see her at all. But now there's some legs. Hell yeah, it's awesome. Scared of regalas of my P regalas is in here. She might remember from my re oh and then the rehab video on this one. All the waste of opportunity. Oh well. This is a P regalas. Used to be in that big round cylindrical enclosure of the pop store. Now it's in here. My P Minya used to be in here. But he molded out a mature male, so I sold him for 20 euros and moved my regalas in here. And I originally bought the Arminia for like 750, so I mean there's worst thing in the world, I guess. I can buy a new sling sometime when I get more space, because I'm kind of full. <laughs> this is my Brachypelma Classy. She's over there. She's getting really fat, doing absolutely amazing. It's molted once, I think. Yeah. Then here's my GBB sling, my original sling. The cunt webbed up against the glass, but yeah. Uh, right now she's at the back there, but I doubt you'll be able to see her because of the webbing. But yeah, this is my Nandichromatus, suspect male, like most of my slings. Here's my Formictopus at Trichomatus. Looks a bit human in there actually. Mm. Oh well, um, Formictopus at Trichomatus. Don't see this one at all anymore, it's burrowed away. Brachypelma albiceps, just like when I got it as a tiny sling. That's the biggest thing, it's doing the same thing now. Burrowed away, no clue what's <laughs> what's it doing, so yeah. Um, These are three of my cooler slings, you could say. I've got Hyperactyra pulker piece in here. Hypocosmia Himalaya. And Cervati Jars and Muzum Peak Come really hype for this one. So they're all doing fine, so that's great. This is my Brachypelma Bomai, you all know this one. Brachypelma Albopelosum, you all know this one too. Brachypelma Amelia, this is one of the OGs, the first ranch that I got to get out of my smithy. This is my Gramostola Rosea, over there in the corner, but there's a bit of glare on the glass, so there she is. And this is my uh, what's it called? Heroldamantis. It's 
This is my ghost man. This is where this one at? Uh, on the floor. Oh, well, she's there. They're both doing pretty well. I already got six, but these are only two left. This is my other than the chromatis. That was a freebie. Over there. This one's doing fine too. This is my Samopose Ecclesiasticus. It's molted recently. It's also doing great. It's also a bit human in there. Well, yesterday was watering day, I mean, so. Yeah. It's my P. Ornata. It's also molted recently. It's doing good. Then over there is my P. Metallica, currently in pre molt. This is my C Versicolor, recently molted, like only this week, and now she's getting the red abdomen, so that's pretty cool. This is my Onyctoctonus or Otibialis, it's pretty, pretty cool, it's got a pretty extensive burrow, this one, goes all the way down to the bottom, it's chilling right there at the bottom. Let's put that back. Cerato Gyrus and Meridionalis, molted recently. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Love this one. Um, Gramostola Pulcra piece. Over there. Oops. I think she's went into Primo too because she didn't eat last time. This is a Brachypelma Avopilosum Nicaragua form. We're still really small. Lassidora striatipus is in here and just burrowed away and there's nothing in there anymore. So, yeah. Well, you can see the Nicaragua in there. Oh, yeah. So, um, over here we've got my biggest female, my Brachypelma auratum, my pride and joy. Here we've got an LP. Over there in the corner, this is my Hydrometrus petersi scorpion, and this can another DBB a male, probably penultimate. So I'm gonna sell this one soon. And over here is my Cantuscura geniculata, one of my favorites. Tapenicius violaceus. Now this is a Brachypelma vegans, which is currently hidden away. Brachypelma Kallenberg, you also hit me. I should have bombed the light lights for this, but oh well. Tapnikius Gigas, it's getting, coming out quite often recently, this guy. It's also male, but it's not mature yet, I think. I should rehouse this one soon. Next time I'll go to the next wall, I'll get another one of those and put them in there, probably. This is my Cerecopelma Angustum. And then here's Brachypelma Smithy, also one of the OGs. Primo, Brachypelma Hamori, also an OG, Primo, Brachypelma Verdesi, my other Brachypelma Horatum, that's probably in the back over there somewhere, this is my male, it's a little breeding project, Woo. this is Brachypelma Saberosum, it's like on this side, it's got burrow somewhere, or she rather, yeah. It's everything. Um, I recently got a new order in of 250 Larawas roaches, so I've got a whole bunch of these more. My dubias are doing amazing. There's loads of them in there. Like right now I've got the window open, so there's a lot of light coming and they don't like light, so they're all hiding away. But yeah, they're doing great. And these are mealworm beetles that are like, I don't fucking know. All my mealworms are turning to beetles, so now I'm stuck with those. I'm just feeding them off to some of my teeth, but yeah. And there's my isopods. They're doing fine, they're starting to breed, I think, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and up here's my Gramostol pulcra, which I've put over here to be closer to the heat source to hopefully make her molt or him. Because, Jesus fucking Christ, this guy's taking forever. Uh, I can't see anything in there. But yeah. This guy hasn't eaten in like three months. Uh, these are my 
ants and it seems an ant drowned in the honey. That's not good. Yeah, there's like ants in here. That's pretty cool. But good to know that they drown in there. I'll probably not do a full cup of that anymore. And here it ants as well. I'll, uh, can I do this one hand? Okay, hold on one second, guys. Okay, there we go. That's one of the colonies as well. That's a bit of honey in there too. A piece of paper that they tipped over apparently. But yeah, so those are my ants. I've got like five of those. To the geckos we go. And then we go to the main attraction, which I'm getting more into right now than uh, my aunt's is a. Uh, this is my leopard gecko cheddar lives in here. She's always under that middle bit, but I'm gonna leave her alone. She's getting really social. She's. Act actively coming out toward me and stuff, so that's pretty cool. This is Char, my crested gecko. The grumpy dude, he's sleeping right now. And this is his vivarium, I need to replant it a bit. Because the plant over there died, and the plant in the middle isn't doing too great. But this one's doing amazing, and this one's doing great too. But that's about it. But yeah, it still looks pretty nice. So these are my two reptiles. Uh, my the black stick insects I had the periphasma shultai are currently in this dova but they're not really doing much I don't know if I'm keeping them right or not because they should have hatched by now I think and these are oh yikes that's very humid but these are um yeah I'll leave the lid off for that too the humidity a bit out of it but these are um extasoma tiratum ova not meant to be this humid. Oof. Okay. Um, yeah, these are over that I've recently got. So these are of my two females, which are over there. You can see the one hanging on the top there. So, yeah. That's about everything I have right now, so that's a small update. Thanks for watching. I would say I'll try to upload more often, but that'd be real, I probably won't. <laughs> so um, keep subscribed for the few times I upload a video, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Meech from Meech's Tarantulas, and peace out.